Hey guys, Dante2, back with more. Let's play Mega Man Zero Three. Uh, last time we took on Copy X, Veal pulled a real bullshit move and convinced everyone that he is the good guy in Neo Arcadia. And because of that, he is a major douchebag, and I question the intelligence of everyone in that city. That being said, I think this is probably the high point of Veal's character. I will admit, in this game, Veal has a pretty good plan. Honestly, I don't like it, and I think, you know, we could have taken this in a better direction than this, but at the end of the day, you know, he did what he did pretty well. But, we also got something a little bit special from Copy X. We got a Buster Shot move called Reflect Laser. Reflect Laser is pretty kick-ass, actually. It moves basically Gemini Beam. Uh, it moves really fast. Uh and bounces off walls. It also will penetrate um, enemies, so it'll go through enemies, uh, much like uh, Plasma Beam in Metroid Fusion. At least that's what I've been told. I haven't had a real chance to uh, field test this thing yet. Um, the downside to it is it will not work with any elemental chip. You can't have an elemental chip equipped or else it'll override the beam function. Also, it'll only bounce off surfaces if the surface is on screen. And with the reduced screen size of this game, that becomes a little bit of an issue. Um, this kind of beam really only gets really good in ZX Advent, and I'll go over it if I ever get to that. I have to figure out what I'm doing next, because what I was going to do next, I might actually have to put on hold. Because of the fact that what I was going to do after Zero was... I was going to do something leading up to basically me doing a camcorder let's play, which sounds stupid, but honest to god, it's... The alternative is a horrible screeching mess, and I just can't get it to work right, so I might have to... I'll work on it. I'll have something to do definitely in the meantime, but today we are here to take on this uh, mission. The Arcadian Energy Plant... Or, shut Huh. They shut down in the middle of an energy crisis. Let us investigate. So yes, my housekeeping issues aside, we are still here in Zero Three, and I still have shit to do. Honey, I'm going into an abandoned power plant with quite obviously a boss in it. It's dangerous. Chill. So he's up here. Okie dokie. Now, although I just got the Reflect Beam, I'm probably not going to use it too much because this area is obviously, or not so obviously, our fire area for the game. And as such, uh, having the Shield Sweep is actually going to be a good thing because it carries the Lightning Elements with it best. Uh, let me down, please. Thank you. Other issue is... It's kind of hard to see. Think it's because of these butterfly things? I'm not sure. Forget how this area works. Uh, charge attack, please. There you go. You have to light up the uh, generators. Well, you don't have to, but you can. At least cyberspace might actually be a benefit in this area. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it. Ah, the bat- the mobs go towards the light. Okay, that's an interesting thing. I'm trying to figure out what that noise was. I think it's just the, um, generators. Or it might be those things. I don't know. Gotcha. What's that? I don't know how I do that blade beam move. It's just so weird. It's, it, I'm not supposed to have that move. I'll admit, because although I technically, technically I'm not supposed to have it, 
because there is an EX move for the Blade Beat. It's from uh, Chill Dre, the first Ice Boss. But it's actually much different. It's basically the move he does with his ears where he shoots them out is basically what you get. It's slightly smaller, but it's basically that same size and shape. Uh, so it's kind of an advanced version of our old one, but at the same time, it's still supposed to be an EX move, so I have no idea how it works. Now it's starting to work. And by it, I mean my charge. Okay, I guess I'm full on E-Tanks. That's a good thing. Are we in our boss yet? No, not yet. Oh, right, I forgot. That's it. Once again, it just perplexes me that I can do that. Oh, okay, so it looks like it functions like a uh, uh, rising forms attack. Or if I hold up, I do the rising form attack. Made a lot harder now because I have the rising move, but if I hold down, it'll do that instead. I guess it's... That's kind of interesting because, you know, we've got we've got the basic moves, but the EX moves will make them better, I guess, is what the general idea I'm getting is. Which, you know, is interesting, but... Still, perplexing me to this point. Game, you're not winning any favors right now. I hate you. Wow, we have three airlocks in this area. And two mini bosses. Definitely kicking it up. Okay, this guy looks like he's switching between forms. Like I said, I don't know as much as I could about uh, zero 03. Honestly, God, I'm more well versed with zero 04 and um, 2. Mostly 2. But the standard principles of all the Zero series kind of apply to everything, you know, the three elements and stuff. So if I'm if I'm making guesses, it's pretty well established. Oh yeah, this is where shit can get bad. Uh, I think I want to go the other way. And have you not hit it, please? Thank you. Yeah, like I said, they constantly fire, which can be a very good and a very bad thing. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, sweet. That's how you do that. Ow. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting little thing. Turn around. Come on. Oh, come on! Haha. <laughs> Found a use for that after all. Are we not done yet? Come on, guys. I guess we are going through the different cores. I didn't know there was more than one. Kingdom Hearts 2 flashbacks and space paranoids. This isn't good. I still don't think anyone can defend that mini game with the blocks and you having to somehow pick the right block. And honestly, I don't even know how it works. I just kind of click. But that is not this. 
It actually might be a good thing to do next now that my previous plan has pretty much fallen through. I can still do it, but there's no rush now. Because once I start Kingdom Hearts, it's going to be like two years of just straight. Actually, no, I should probably break that up. Because I think I'm going to get waylaid before anyone else does. Stop it. Actually, now is a good time, since he's annoying the shit out of me, to try something else out. Yeah, these guys are kind of impact, okay. Uh, let's do two nurse cells for ultimate shield protection. Why? Because I'm clearly insane. Yeah, we gotta work our way up, sort of, here. Haha. Wow, that was easier than what it normally is. Normally I have some trouble in that area, but whatever. It's a crystal. Haven't you ever played Final Fantasy? Oh, hello, who are you? Hmm, well... I have. Now what are you going to do about this, honey? Dark Elf copy? Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh. Well, guess I'm gonna get the killing. No, I don't think so. Oh god. Okay, let's do this. Alright, Cubit Foxtrar, this guy is got the EX ability I want, so let's get to that right off the bat and not lose any time with that. By the way, for all you purists out there, yes, this is actually a male. There are no female members of Veal's Numbers. Um, being based off Katsune and in Japanese mythology, they often disguise themselves as females in order to trick males into doing something. I don't know, probably to kill them. Although I thought Katsune is like the one thing that doesn't kill you in Japanese mythology, I thought, or I might be wrong about that. Anyway, we have a lot of, you know, that kind of stuff here. Actually, no, what am I saying? They do. I'm completely confused. Anyway, gonna float around, do a lot of Foxfire type attacks, and in general, I'm just gonna try to avoid taking the bulk of damage and just charge attack the shit out of her. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Don't make me go down here. Gotcha. Find the Phoenix from the sea. Good! That means I killed them all in one go. Good. I killed them. I don't actually need the baby elves. Dark Elf alone will be enough. I see a shining future where I have killed all of these baby elves and thus destroyed the hellish abominations of mankind. Yay me! Now get out of here, you transvestite freak. Got the double jump foot chip and the EX skill of Cubit Foxtrar, Soul Launcher. Soul Launcher is really cool. And without it, Recoil Rod kind of sucks. Oh, we kind of know what he was planning to do. I don't know if we ever learned specifically, but it's kind of hinted in ZX. Anyway, we have a Soul Launcher here. Uh, crap, I need my recoil rod for this to work. And in order to make it work fully, I need fire chip. What Soul Launcher is, if you fire upwards, it'll launch up, it'll fire your recoil rod up in the air and it'll come down. Uh, and if you have the fire chip, it'll burn on the ground. Actually, I don't know if it'll come down if you have anything but fire chip equipped. Let me find out. No, don't come down. I just won't stay on the ground. Okay. This is, honest to God, a really great weapon that makes recoil rod really fun to use. 
this combined with uh, Thousand Slash is what really makes this weapon fun. And why it just barely doesn't reach uh, the levels of being as cool as, um, what's it called? Chain Rod. But without these two, actually, it's kind of a shitty weapon. And since we have rematches in this game, I will be able to show you all of the Chain Rod's power. Uh, especially in a couple fights. Like I said before, Childre is made incredibly pathetic by this weapon, and yeah, it's fun. But, next time, we'll be taking on another boss and possibly getting our EX skill. I forget what the order is. I'm basically just going straight down in the order this time around. And how I plan to do... How I plan to do the first round, but, you know, free EX skill is free. So, hell yes. See you guys then.